Hey guys, it's Thomas here and I decided to bring you along for a quick video on how to build your own Chato reactor, which is a popular thing that's happening right now for those people who don't have space in their sumps for a refugium or don't want to try uh, an algae turf scrubber or something like that, which can take up a little bit more space. Um, the Chato reactor has become a popular option. So I've decided that uh, I'm gonna make one for this system I'm gonna be making a lot of changes to this system. You guys don't know anything about it. It's a saltwater tank I set up. It's obviously gonna be a reef. It's in very early stages. I'm basically changing everything that's on it, uh, which I'll walk you guys through as we do it. But today, first things first, we're gonna make that chitter reactor. Uh, it's gonna be a simple build, but I'm also going to go ahead and use a kilowatt meter to find out exactly how energy efficient this particular uh, chitter reactor ends up being. And I'm gonna use a PAR meter as well to find out how much light the Chato inside that reactor is going to get. So hopefully that'll be some useful information for you and we can make an awesome Chato reactor that later on I'll do videos on and some updates so we can see how it's actually performing. Here we go. The items I'm using to build this reactor are very simple. We've got a JNS meteor reactor. Uh, it's very, very straightforward. I believe it's the exact same as your Aquamax meteor reactor. We've got this top lead light, which is an LED rope or tape, whichever you prefer to call it. And it is in the hydroponic spectrum, which I believe is four red, one blue. And then to hold that in place, we've got these zip ties. And that's all we need to make this Chata reactor happen. So let's start assembling this. First things first, let's open up this LED. Got a power supply for it. Then the LED itself. It also came with uh, mountain clips, but I'm not going to be using those. So, let's see what this bad boy looks like. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, this is the end where the plug goes in. So this is going to be at the bottom. And then I'm just going to essentially wrap the exterior of the reactor with this LED rope. So start down here and wrap around and to hold it in place I'm going to be using some basic zip ties obviously one does not go around the circumference of this reactor so I'm going to just uh, let's get that right there so I'm just going to be doubling it up here All right. But you know what? If I can actually get the double-sided tape off, I'm taking it off. Once you get it all the way to the top, you just use another pair of zip ties to hold it in place. And then you trim it off at one of the trim points, which on this one is every three LEDs, you can actually cut it. And then I'm just gonna leave that hanging under there. So that's it. Now we are going to fire it up and see if it glows. All right, and here we go. I'm just gonna plug it in and we will watch it glow. Yeah, that's pretty bright. So I can't even begin to guess what the, uh, the par would be. And oddly enough, I don't know if I can get this on camera, but all of the blue LEDs are in line straight up the side just based on the uh, the wraps that I did, which is completely by chance. But that's it, looking all slick. Uh, we're gonna take it upstairs, get the PAR meter inside of it, and see what it's putting out in terms of PAR. Okay, 
guys, that's it. It's all built, very simple, easy to do. I'm actually quite impressed with how much par I'm getting out of that thing. I think it's gonna do a great job uh, growing Chato. And for the 30 watts draw that I've got on those LEDs, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, I could be really a stickler and try to find something more energy efficient, but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. So I'm just gonna run it the way it is. I'm not gonna be hooking it up yet. I actually have a uh, sump system under there that has a refugium in it. But like I said, I'm gonna be gutting this system and redoing the uh, inside. It's gonna be really cool. So check back for that. Hopefully I'll be doing that soon. I'm just waiting for some custom stuff to come in. And uh, that's when I'll be hooking that up. And until next time, keep on tanking. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna keep doing this stuff because it's fun. And that's what it's all about, fun. <laughs>